listeners, this is Grecia Sanchez for the Prospector News Weekly. The Centennial Museum reopened its doors this week after having closed for several months due to water damage. We had a pipe burst over 4th of July, which was a fun 4th, and we had extensive water damage that went down to the collections and on the galleries on the second floor, and as a result we had to do some massive repair work, but fortuitously it looks very, a lot nicer now. The current exhibit is about Nancy Lee. She is the first wife of artist Tom Lee. Um, not very much is known about her since she died fairly young. She was a really interesting woman. She pushed gender stereotypes. And the exhibit is based off her notebook. And what I love most about the notebook is that she was human. So someday she was happy and someday she was mad and sad and angry. And so you get that right there in this notebook from the 1930s and it shows people really haven't changed. YouTube is often called the university on the border. And with that, we have made sure to create a bilingual broadcast, a Spanish segment called Fronteras. Los bilingual speakers son comúnmente discriminados tanto en México como en United States. Se rumora entre la bilingual community, los Spanish speakers son mal vistos cada que hablan en su native language, cosa que también happens with los pochos en México. Veamos lo que los YouTube students tienen que decir sobre la situación en México. Las inglés y español al mismo tiempo combinado. Este, pues sí, o sea, <risa> se da mucho ser pochos de que no sabemos cómo se dice una palabra en un idioma y la decimos en el otro. I, I don't think it's that discrimination. I think it's because of they don't know the American language. But it's not discrimination. Over here is a different story. México no, porque en México son los. Te discriminan más para hablar inglés porque luego dicen que te sientes americano o así. Entonces en México sí es así como que mejor hablar por español. Este, a veces pues trato yo de esforzarme al hablar en inglés y este, no sé si sea porque no, no me entienden o, o para que se me facilite, pero pues me vienen hablando en español, o sea, haciéndome como que sentir menos al tratar de, de expresarme en inglés. For the Prospector News Weekly, mi nombre es Gracias Sánchez. A season change, reporter Sharika Lawrence asks students if the weather has an effect on their personal relationships. To cuff or not to cuff, many individuals struggle with the question during the fall and winter months of the season. People who desire to be single or to be promiscuous often find themselves like the rest of the world, wanting to be cuffed or to be tied down in a serious relationship. The fall and winter is the normal time to begin a relationship because routine becomes a normal. A relationship is like second nature during this time of year. Talking to UTEP students, we wanted to know, is it better to be warm as a couple or to keep warm all by yourself during the winter? Here's what they had to say. I feel like in whichever season, I feel like couples are, you know, the like, best time, I guess, I don't know, depending on their situation. I feel like the, season, like the time where people usually get together is usually the winter or most likely in the summer. I think the summer is when they break up because it's usually when people spend more time with each other. Like, there's no more school, things like that. Physical attraction are common, but a mental connection is where? If you find it, hold on to it. This is Sharika in Lawrence for the Prospector News Weekly. Thank you for tuning in.